all, and thank you for tuning in to WTSMTV.com. I am Isaiah Jackson, Jr., here at the Footprint Center, as we just seen the Phoenix Mercury get the win over the Washington Mystics, 92-71, to and what was a great game. Unfortunately, the Phoenix Mercury were without Shea Petty, who went down with a gruesome injury on Saturday against the Storm. Right now, she is at concussion protocol. She's perfectly fine. Nikki Blue even said they FaceTimed her after the game. She's doing well, and we're just wishing her a speedy recovery. I mean, but unfortunately there, the Phoenix Mercury only has to deal with one injury. I mean, with the Skylar Diggins-Smith situation, she's been out and she will be out for the rest of the season, but they were down one person. As with the Washington Mystic, we're down four, especially with their two-time MVP, Elena Deladon, sitting on the sideline with an ankle injury. And that looked to play a huge role in the Washington Mystics trying to get together in this game. But on the Phoenix Mercury side, you have Diana Taurasi and Sophia Cunningham starting the game off with some electric threes and getting to the, the line as well, connecting on those and ones. I mean, they were just electric from the three, especially shooting 45% in that first half, just getting things off to a really, really great start. And as we've seen, the Phoenix Mercury just didn't hesitate to shoot the ball at all because it was connecting. And no matter what the Washington Mystics did, I mean, whether it was having slow transitions on defense, whether they were there in general, just putting a hand on their face, we we seen Sophie Cunningham shoot over a couple defenders and getting that getting the easy three-point shot. And I say easy with uh, very loosely. It was easy for her. It tried, let one of us try and do that. And speaking of great games, we can't fail to mention Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner with 11 points and eight rebounds. And she is officially the Phoenix Mercury all-time leading rebounder. So congratulations to her on that. And Brittany Griner continuing to prove WTSM TV right, especially when we mentioned that it's just it seems so easy for her when she's getting double teams to just get to the hoop and score like it's not nothing. And she was able to do that today. I mean, earlier in the first quarter, she was passing the ball off. It looked like it was some great defense being played and great double teams being put on Brittany Griner early in the first half. Second half, it was nothing. Brittany Griner was just dribbling on the sideline, just getting to the bucket, getting to the basket. It was too easy for her, shooting over defenders. And it just, it just looked like slight work for her. And just a regular day in the office for Brittany Griner, as it usually is when she's getting double teamed. And we just look forward to see what the Phoenix Mercury do next because once everybody's hitting on all cylinders especially when you have four out of your five starters going into double digits that's something that you love to see the ball is getting passed around phoenix mercury are sharing the sugar and they're getting those wide open shots and they're making them it's just a whole new different feel here in the footprint center it's positive it's energetic it's fun here in the footprint center once again so the next time we'll be back will be on Thursday as the Connecticut Sun will be in town taking on the Phoenix Mercury, another game that you wouldn't want to miss. Thank you for tuning in to WTSMTV.com. I'm Isaiah Jackson, Jr., and we'll see you guys next time.